Hey, hey, Lynn Huber here, and today I am going to teach you how to make a super cute bingo game card for your, for your virtual parties or for your VIP group or wherever you want to do it. I mean, there's lots of sites where you can make bingo cards, um, but I like Canva. This is canva.com. And um, this is my favorite. You can use this for free. There's also a paid version. Um, I just recently upgraded to the paid version because it just, there's so much, they have so much to offer. But what I'm gonna show you, you can do totally for free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of their templates that they um, already have. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the reward um, chart poster. I already made a card like this, and so um, so I'm just gonna show you now how I did it. So these are like posters that they have. This one right here, this bedtime reward chart, this one is gonna work perfectly for what we need. So I just click on it, boom, and I have it there, right? And um, so this one has the exact amount of squares that I need for the bingo. And um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these stars. You can just drag your mouse over and select a whole bunch at once. You could select them one at a time. But if you just drag your mouse over, you can select them all at once. And then I'm just gonna hit the delete key to delete it. And um, I think I'm probably gonna need to move this. Maybe, well, we'll see, we'll see. Right now it's okay. So, um, so that's what I we got rid of the stars. I mean, if you wanted them, you could keep them obviously. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this background white. So you click on the color up here, you choose, choose the background, click on the color, and then you can choose colors, whatever you want. I mean, um, because I have a pro account, I have, I'm able to save um, my, my favorite colors and I just happen to have one, but there's default colors. You can also click on new color and you can literally make whatever you want. But I'm gonna click on white because we want the background to be white because this is gonna be printable, right? You want people to be able to print this so they can write in their bingo um, things on it and it, it, people would prefer not to have too much ink, right? I mean, it's, they're so much easier to print. And so we are going to, um, there's, there's a side part right here that we don't need. So we're going to take that off and delete it. I just hit delete. And then I'm going um, to gonna move this up here. And I'm actually going to ungroup this because there's two parts to this and I don't need the bottom one. And the top one here, we can um, change the color of that. I'm going to make that my, my Avon pink. Like I said, you can choose any color you want. And um, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit and I'm trying to see what color I used it for. Let's see, okay, so, sorry. So, okay, so what I'm gonna change this to say is let's play. Did I get a capital L in there? Okay, and I'm gonna change this font now, you, the, to change the font, you just click on the um, thing up here where it says font, and there's about a zillion different fonts you can use. Now, all the ones that have this little crown next to them are pro users, so you're going to need to pick one that's not a pro, but I'm going to use this Rebel because I really just love this one, and I'm going to make it big. So this is your, up here is your font size, so I'm going to click and I'm going to make that like really big. So let's play. And as you move this around, see, it can show you like, like where, when you're in the center. You see how it showed you that, where it was centered? Okay. And um, then we're going to take this down here and we just copy the whole thing. Because if you just take one, you're only going to have one piece. So drag your mouse over the whole thing and drag it and move it up kind of where you want it to go, right? And then we're gonna change these, like where it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we want it to be like bingo. So I'm gonna put a B there. And, and I can actually make it bold, so it's gonna stand out better. And then I'm gonna put I, and then I'm gonna make that bold. And then N, and make that bold. G, make that bold. And O, and make that bold. So there you go. You can select this, um, this background and you can change the color on that by clicking on color and we can go back to that same Avon. Now I can go in and I can change my letters 
color, if I click on the text color, it's a, like a picture of an A with a color, I can change that to white. So I'm going to go through and change each of those. I'm just making a template here. So what will happen is um, once we get this set up, you can like use it over and over again. Okay, so we have the bingo. Um, let me see, what else was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to put some text under this Let's Play. So I'm going to click over here under text, and I'm going to click on Add a Subheading. I'm going to drag it up here, and I'm going to put Avon Bingo, right? And um, you can make this, again, whatever font you want. Let me see. I'm going to use Animo because that's, like, really, it's easy to read. Or, you know, I, let's see. Yeah. Animal, animal's easy to read. And um, we'll make it, you know, that's actually pretty good size. So we can drag it maybe so it's more centered. So there you go. Click off of it. Let's play Avon Bingo. Okay, great. Now I can change, I can highlight all these boxes and I can change the color all at once. I highlighted them all. I'm gonna click on that yellow. I'm gonna change that to the pink. Click off of it. So now you can see that's all pink. <laughs> and then under here, I'm gonna type in some, um, let's see. Do, do, do. I had, let's see. Let's see, a subheading. I'm trying to think of what did I have there. Okay, so I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type pick words from the list below to write in each box. Okay, so then we're going to, um, we just click on that. We can, we can, it'll, it'll select that box and we can change this to something smaller. So we want it to fit on one line. So however, we need to make it fit, maybe make it bold. Um, I can even, let's see, 24 didn't, oh yeah. Okay, so I can actually spread this out a little bit. There you go. And I'm gonna change that font to be white. And I'm gonna change that yellow one behind it to be that pink. There you go. So see that? <laughs> So there you go. So this is like the basics of our bingo. I'm going to move this up and move this up. We kind of want to squeeze this all together. I'm going to select all of this and move it up a little bit because down here at the bottom is where we're going to put our words. And we're going to um, put the words below so that that you can um, you can put like all your products or you can put whatever it is you're going to talk about or whatever you want to use those words for, right? Um, I am gonna make this just a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, and, um, and so down here we'll put the words. So I'm gonna click on text again, and add a subheading, drag it down here. And you know, this is gonna be, we'll make this animal again because it's easy to read and we'll make it smaller. I don't know, 18, that's a little small. 24, you'll have to figure out what works. And actually, if I click down here, you see where it says 38%, I can click and make this bigger so that I can see it better. See how it made it bigger so I can see it better. And if I go over there, and that's probably because we don't want it to be much bigger than that really. So I'm gonna put word and then enter and then word and then enter and word, enter, word, enter, word. So I'm doing it five times. So that, and then I'm going to line it up. See, as I move this, I can make this like the width of that. And we want to make this left aligned. So this up here where it says alignment, I just choose left. And then if I click off of it, and if I just click this, I can move it. And if you watch, you can see, you can see how it lines up. So we want to line this up there and have that line up there. So then we're gonna click on this and we're going to click up here where it says duplicate. And we're gonna duplicate it and then duplicate it and duplicate it and duplicate it. Did that give us five? 
So we are going to just go like this. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm going to do, I have that first one. So I'm going to try and line this up with the first one and with I'm lining it up with this box right here and I'm lining the top up with that. So see, as you can see, so I'm going to line that up and then I'm going to line this one, oops, almost with it. Well, even if I do it in the center of that box, it will work because it's the same width. So there you go. You can also select all of these and you can go click on position, get me out of the way. And I can, um, I can click these right here and I can click on position and I can actually do left, center, or right but I, I want to align the top or bottom. It's probably already aligned. So you just kind of figure that out, get it aligned so it's just right. Looks like it's all there. So you have your word, 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 word. So you're going to go in, this is just your templates. You're going to go in whenever you want to update this and you're going to add words, you know, like um, a new ultimate or, you know, whatever you want, skincare or whatever you want to put in those words. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm going to add a subheading down at the bottom and we'll make that, you can um, do whatever you want with this. But this is going to be where you're going to customize it because you're going to make sure you have your contact information, right? And you can make the size of this box be like big um, and maybe your phone number. What is my number? And maybe your um, your online store, right? Or you cannot put your phone number. You could just do it like this: youravon.com, and put your store in there, right? And you can even um, you can change this font, this text. We're gonna click on it. Click that A. We can change that so we can make that pink if we want to. I'm gonna change this so we can fit it to the window so we can see it again. So check that out. See that bingo card? Now the only thing we need is we need a free space for the middle. So if we go over to elements and you can search for whatever you want. Um, I have looked at a bunch of them. I've looked at kiss or flower or, um, whoops, two S's, kiss or flower or whatever. Now you need to be careful because see some of these say they're pro and you know the pro subscription is like hundred dollars a year, hundred and something a year. Um, and if you have the pro subscription, you can have all of these images for free and all of those fonts for free. They're all included. But if you're not going to buy the free one, I mean, if you're not going to buy the pro one, that's totally okay. There's plenty here. So you need to find one that's free. And the reason being is because this is your template and you're going to um, make copies of this and you know like every time you create a new one for a new game, you're going to maybe change the words or whatever. And so you'll just duplicate it and save it. And, um, and every time you do that, you don't have to pay for that image again, right? So, so here's a kiss that's free, just looking. Well, that one's free if you wanna do a, a smiley face with a kiss. Um, but here's some lips, so you could just do that, right? I mean, you could do whatever you want and then just stick it here in the middle. That would be your free space. There you go, boom. So see, now you have it. Well, you'll go up here and you'll need to make sure that you give it a name. So we can call this um, Avon Bingo Template or whatever and save and, and it, it will save. You can also click on File, Save to save it. You know, you wanna make sure that you save it. And then the next time you come in here, you can just like create a copy. Um, let, me, let me see if we go, okay, so this is it. And then you can like, you can like download it you can download it as a PDF. You actually can download it as an image if you want to post it as an image um, to your Facebook groups. I would do the PDF so they can print it off and they can write in, their, in the, the words. So you can download it, save it to your computer. You can upload it to the file section of your VIP group. And so this is what's really cool. So you'll have all these words down here, which you'll put in, whatever you want. And then you'll have your guests take those words and write them on the bingo card wherever they want. So every guest will have a different 
um, card based on, you know, the letters, the words will be in different places on the cards. And then in order to play the game with you, they need to um, take a picture of it and post it in your group or however you want to do this. You can, um, what I've seen people do is they've created a post in their VIP group and said, post your, your pictures of your cards in the images in, in the comment section of this post and they can do that or you can have a message it to you in a Facebook messenger or whatever you want to do and then you would call the bingo gang and um, and they will mark off their cards and you'd be doing this in a in your Facebook group right either on a live a live is probably the best way to do it and then you'll be watching the comments for who who yells bingo so it's like really cool this is a great way for you to get you know it's a custom bingo card it's like you can go to, there's lots of websites you can go to to print off bingo cards, but none of them are going to look like this, right? So there you go. That's what you have. So I hope that you found this helpful. And um, I think this will be really good. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. So let's say we go to, um, we go to Canva and you've already created that design and we go to home and we go to your designs right here, your designs, right? And you can see all. And there's my bingo card. This is a, the one I had created earlier. Um, if I refresh, I think the new one will come up. But it doesn't matter. See, they're here, my two bingo cards. And literally, if you click these three dots, you can say make a copy. And then so you can always keep that as a template. You can make a copy and then you can edit the copy with the words. And so you can always, you can make as many as you want, right? Okay, so that's what I have for you guys today. Um, thanks for being here today with me and have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.